Hey, congratulations, Kayo. You are all stitched up. And might I say, what a beautiful job that they did on these stitches. That was a hard-fought battle against Jared Cannonier. Tell me your assessment of what you were able to do in there. <laughs> but uh, I think it was a good fight. I caught him with some good jabs. And I think all these jabs hide my left hand. And when I touch him with my left hand, he felt all the time, you know. But he's so durable, you know. He's so tough. He be, he's been with the best in the world for so many years, you know. He was in the you, crazy. He was in the UFC in 2015. Yeah. That was the year of my last defeat, of my second MMA fight, you know. So all respect to Jared. Thank you so much for the battle. Thank you for the 50K that we both won, you know. And, you know, I'm still going to keep doing my thing, you know, now. I, I hope to see my name on Tuesday on the top five of this, of this division, you know, and I'm coming for that belt. The mantra of this training camp was to show the new champ arrived, and I think everybody saw that. A new champ on the rising, a guy that never give up, and all skills, you know. What did you learn about yourself in this fight? Like, it was crazy. It, it's crazy because my last three fights, I was with no adrenaline. And in this one, I had like almost zero adrenaline going into it, you know? I was loosening up, you know, I was dancing, I was watching Jared coming, I was dancing on his music, you know? And I couldn't feel like any adrenaline, and this is crazy. Like, we tend, we tend to feel, to think this is bad, but for me it's good because when you have emotions and adrenaline and all this, you always do a mistake. You know, when you're angry and you treat someone bad, you know, and then you regret after, it's because you're full of emotion. So I'm not, I'm not emotional over there, and I think every fight I'm gonna be less emotional, more calculating, you know, more cerebral. And my plans in this sport is to be one of the most intelligent guys that ever stepped into the octagon, just to be compared with like GSP, John Jones, and all these guys. I know I have a lot of work to do, but I'm ready, you know? Well, listen, you're not on the fighting nerds because you're not smart. So certainly you are very intelligent. And I'm being told to wrap up, but let me just commend you. You know, you mentioned earlier um, Jared's durability, but I think you also proved yours tonight as well. We look forward to seeing in that top five of the division and what happens next. And as always, guys, the fighting nerds come with the accessories. Congratulations to Kayo. Back to you guys at the desk. I'll get you, I'll get you some a pair, okay? Yeah. We need some. Yeah. She looks Three good pairs. in those. I want a pair. Yeah, we want to put the order yeah, in. Three, please, Kayo. I'm sure they got a few kicking around. <laughs> Gents, you guys have been through it. Like, are you forever linked to someone when you go through a battle like that with an opponent? Yeah, yeah, right. I, th I think th when you go through a war with someone, there's always that mutual respect, especially even if there's hate there, which these guys didn't have. There was no. a tremendous amount of respect. But being that this was a, a main event for Kyle, a fight that he was jumping so high up in the line right there. You could see before the fight he went, before they even, in the first round, they went and he thanked him. He actually thanked Jerry Kennedy. Thank you for taking this fight. And it were hugs again in between the rounds. I think he's going to remember this fight for a while because this is a fight that's going to put him in that top five against the elite categories. How much is this a career-defining victory for Bahalio? This is a career-defining victory for him for a few reasons. Obviously, first UFC main event beating a guy in the top five, but what I alluded to earlier is having to really dig, having to get into a blood and guts fight where you're, you're just tested. You've been rocked, you're hit with big shots, you're cut. It's a, you know, to me, it was 3-1, maybe 2-2 two, two at best, headed into that fifth. It's a dog fight. And not only do you gain character as a fighter, but it makes you a better man. Not only is Kyle gonna grow from this as a fighter, but when you have to go through this type of adversity in a fight like that, it makes you a better human being. It makes you able to over overcome adversities that you're gonna face in life. Life's not easy. You're gonna face all sorts of challenges, but when you go through a battle with a guy like Jared Cannonier who's swinging hammers at you and your face is bloody and it's 25 minutes of war, you can get through a lot of challenging moments in life and in the octagon.